Art is for everyone, and one local organization, Vibrant Palette Arts Center, understands that better than most. And here to talk about the transformative power of making art is Executive Director Diane Knoll. Hi, Diane. Hey, Nancy. Great to see you. Well, let's start with um, what Vibrant Palette Arts Center is all about. And I know that you're celebrating your, your year anniversary, right? We are, right. yes. So what's the bones of the program? We are a day program for adults with disabilities. We offer visual arts. It's a six hour program. So there's two studio sessions in the morning, um, a lunch break, and then two studio sessions in the afternoon. Some of our artists come full day and some of them come half day. And it's really just about them making the art they want to make and us facilitating in the, the best way possible to help them get where they want to get. Well, and, and, and how do you decide who gets to take part? I mean, do, do your participants have to have an artistic background? We don't put that down as a qualifier. It's really anyone that enjoys the creative process and enjoys making art. Mm -hmm. So yeah. kind of across the spectrum. And, and I know that you do a lot of different things. You wear a lot of different hats. Why did you want to create this organization? What's the drive for it for you? Oh, that's kind of twofold. So part of it is um, working in special education for the last 12 years. Mm. Um, I've worked with kindergarten all the way through high school, and I've watched my kids as they've gone through the process kind of get to that transition years of 18 through 21, um, and families start to panic because there's really not any programming for them once they get out of school. Um, so if they can't hold down a, even a part-time job, it's really like, okay. what are they going to do all day? Mm -hmm. um, right. Along with that, I'm an artist and had heard about this organization down in Oakland that's been around for over 40 years What's called, called? Creative okay. Growth. Same and kind of a thing? Yes, mm -hmm. we're, we're modeled after them. Oh, cool. So uh -huh. I'd heard about them and I thought, oh, Seattle, Seattle has to have something like this. So at first I just wanted to volunteer. And yeah. I, so I started looking around and we really had nothing. And, and did you kind of go, uh-oh, now I have to do it? <laughs> kind of, and then I actually went down there and spent a day there in the studio with the artist and saw their gallery. And mm -hmm. that was just kind of the nail in my coffin, basically, <laughs> of like, OK, I guess you're doing this now. So What's the, been the hardest part of getting this going? <laughs> I think just not getting a nonprofit started in general is really a challenge. Um, and getting the word out, so finding families um, and letting them know that we exist. Um, funding is, is difficult always, as well. Yeah, right, always a challenge. Um, so, it's, you know, we're, we're lucky we've made it through our first year, and that's kind of my goal for this year is really just getting the word out about us so that it can open some other doors. And I, so you're located right now in Pratt mm -hmm. Fine Arts. Are you going to continue to be there, or do you, are you going to move around? What's that situation? Pratt has been wonderful, and they were re really willing to take us on without even any history or background behind us. So uh, we're definitely there for another year, and then we're hoping to expand to two days a week next year. Just keep adding. We are one day a week right now, but our goal is eventually to become a five-day-a-week program. Wow. Um, this is something I feel like Seattle really needs as a program, yeah. um, and we're, we're lacking. Um, and, you know, I feel like for as, a pro for as progressive as a city as we are, right. We definitely need this. This is an piece. area that we can actually mm -hmm. grow in. Now, have any of the participants in the program surprised you in any way with the quality of their work? Their oh, art? yes. Uh -huh. I mean, all the time. One of our artists, Joey Joseph, he was actually our first artist. He came in really shy and kind of quiet. And then, you know, as soon as his mom left him that first day, he was like, about time. So, and then you just kind of so watched his now. personality <laughs> grow, it. yeah. Wow. And, and his artwork, too, has really just kind of taken off from mm. um, kind of the characters he used to draw versus now he's doing these beautiful portraits of women. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's yeah. been really, it's been nice to have him from the beginning and just watch how, how he's taken off. Mm -hmm. And just showing that discipline, when you do something on, a, on an ongoing basis, you, you're going to get better. Yes, you know, exactly. Obviously. Um, uh, so you guys put on, Vibrant puts on three art exhibits per year, open uh, to the public. Mm -hmm. And I know that you've got one right now at um, Vermilion. What is it like for the participants to see their art on a gallery wall and have the public come in and look at it? Well, I, it's honestly, my favorite part is our shows because I feel like it's this chance to have that interaction that a lot of us don't get to have on a daily basis. Um, so, for example, one of our artists, Elizabeth Rogers, this year, um, she usually is, she doesn't smile a lot. She kind of, um, you know, has, is a little bit more monotone maybe. And she, at the art exhibit, when she saw her art, I mean, she just was in full smiles the whole time. So that was just so great to see of just, 
you know, she was really proud that her artwork was up, people were talking to her, um, and you could just kind of see the pride fill her face. So. Yeah, recognition mm -hmm. is super powerful, I think, you know. Yes. Um, well, uh, thank you so much for, for talking with us about the program. I, I, I certainly believe in it. I'm so glad Pratt is signed on as well. Um, and Vibrant Palette Art Center, their first exhibit, like I said, is up uh, of 2018. It is at Vermilion Art Gallery and Bar on Capitol Hill, and it runs now through April 7th. And I believe if you go to the, to the exhibit, people can buy yes. things, mm -hmm. and including perhaps shirts that one of your artists did that you are wearing that I and the whole crew plans on buying from you because I give a stash in your car. Right? I do, yes. Okay, okay, yay. <laughs> awesome, thank I you. I love it that I'm going to get a good shirt out of this deal. Yeah, I'm going to pay exactly. you. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great, great to be here. <laughs>